All right, so we are at Brown's Cabin, which is right here. And just so happens while we're standing here, we've got visitors. Possibly also looking for treasure. So this is Brown's Cabin. Um, and so the clue is put in below the House of Brown. So if Brown was a miner that owned a lot of these mining companies. Um, and so this is also Chalk Creek over here. And the clue is to put in below the House of Brown, uh, which would be putting in right here. And obviously the water is running pretty high right now. You could do it, you could wade through. I've got waders that I'm gonna dig out probably tomorrow and get in there and follow the creek bed down. All right, so here's the cemetery. And we're about to head that way through the bush at about a 45 degree angle, which should take us to the creek. And there should be a sharp uh, left turn in the creek if you're coming downstream. And we're gonna cross that and go up a dry creek bed. And it makes a sharp left turn right here. So drawing nigh is the clue. And it says no paddle up your creek. So that is the other creek where when he says end it means this is where you get out of the creek but the creek is really flowing so um, we can either try and cross here and head up that creek that's right there up to where it says water's high or uh, we could take another way around which is another road that goes around where you could park and actually walk to where we're going I think that's what we're gonna do So we came upon this, so blaze, meaning white stripe. It's a white piece of rock that's propped up against this tree in a really strange way. Terry Scant was the next clue, which means a black piece of milled wood. This is kind of a black piece of wood, a bit of a stretch, but um, quickly down. So we're gonna search this whole area around here and see what we can come up with. Before. All right, so nothing there. And we also think that um, it's too far from the last clue. It's probably 100 yards, so that wouldn't make sense. But it shows you how you can get sucked in by things you see that you want to see. So we just climbed back up that hill. And there's no way that he did that at 80, at 10,000 feet. So it's probably not on this side. We're heading to the side that we are pretty sure it's at, at least by seven of the nine clues. Okay, so found what I think is the right parking spot on Google Maps. Um, <clears throat> it's a little turn off on the road. There's the rocks that we saw on uh, Google Maps. Um, so from what I can tell, if we head approximately that way, we should see the old reservoir. Well, I think is the old reservoir. I need to confirm that. I think the people at the mining store might know. But um, one of the issues is, when you look on Google Maps, <clears throat> the topography is a lot different. So it's not that bad. It's, it's a little bit steep, but not too bad, you know, depending on how ambitious he was when he walked down to, to put the gold away. Um, this might be it. So I'm going to head down this way and uh, see if I can find the open spot that we saw on Google Maps. Followed 
Chalk Creek down from Brown's Cabin, you get to here. And if the clue interpretation is correct, at least this interpretation, then you get out here and it says no paddle up your creek. As you can see right here, it is a very small creek that uh, comes down and feeds into the river. And so the interpretation is you get out of the water here and you head up that way. And if there's no paddle up your creek, and this actually, this creek actually goes up because it's fed from what I think is an old reservoir. So we're gonna head up there and see what we find. So this is the walk up your creek part that leads to the water's high, which as it turns out, not so much water. There's definitely water up here and you're going up the creek. But the Terry Scant and Find the Blaze, other than that tree which we checked underneath, that was the blaze, but it doesn't quite make sense. There's nothing else here that looks like a, a blaze other than those white rocks which we've dug around. And Brave in the Wood, we tore this section apart. Didn't see anything. You gonna venture down there? Might be easier on my side. We stopped by the uh, St. Elmo Mercantile. Got some, hat. Got some hats. We can change our look. Uh, and uh, we decided to follow the creek up the other way. And so um, up here, we were told by the folks that work at the store who've lived here for 30 years, um, that this was a settling lake or settling pond. And so they would haul up the metal or the ore and uh, drop it into the lake and let it settle in these barrels, apparently. And so, in other words, um, heavy loads, which is what this thing used to do, and water's high, which is this lake that is uh, up above where the heavy loads. So heavy loads and uh, water hot. And so now we're going to start focusing our search in this area. The next clue is um, if you're wise and found the blaze. So the next trick is to find the blaze. And I, that, I, that to me, I think is the hard, is probably the hardest clue. But anyway, um, that's what we're gonna do. Large piece of wood, piece of that large rock um, holding those wood, piece of wood together. And if you're brave and in the wood, so, we think that it might be inside uh, that little hole that you could see, held up by the rock holding those two pieces of wood. So. So this is probably the best solve we've had. It's where I waded into yesterday. So heavy loads, this is one of the smelting plants or uh, milling plants where they would haul rock up and back and forth from the main processing center up there. Uh, the blaze, it could be this large concrete structure that's right here. Uh, Terry Scant, uh, if you look at that wood, hopefully you can see that wood's all black on one side. There's also lots of thin black rock all around here. Um, it makes sense. Uh, I was here yesterday and looked at a bunch of places where it might be. I uh, didn't find anything, but I didn't have my 
Oh, that was my GoPro, but I'll show you some video uh, now of what I'm talking about. So terry scant, scant is a piece of milled wood. Um, terry is black, so that's black milled wood. Uh, it's tarry. Tarry, sorry. And uh, this says, you know, find the blaze. It's a large white structure, which is not going anywhere. It's a good marker. Uh, look quickly down. So if you look quickly down this structure, there's all kinds of places that it could be hidden in. But again, we looked yesterday and didn't see anything down in these spots. This would be where I would put it, I guess. Uh, but we're gonna look around a little bit more today. 